What's going on everybody? My name is Chapter and welcome to the very first update video of 2022. Today, I'll talk to you about the progress I made toward my goals for this year and I'll show what I played and completed this month. If for some reason you didn't watch my goal video yet, the link will be in the description down below. The first game I played this month was LEGO DC Super Villains and man did this game got me by surprise. Not only because of the quality of the game, but also because of how long it took me to complete. I spent 50 hours in the DC universe and I'm not gonna lie, I had a lot of fun. I was never a big superhero guy, but it was really cool to discover all those characters and the fact that they were talking made this even cooler. The thing that I really enjoyed is the fact that you play as all those bad guys and they all had awesome powers to use to get through the game. It was kind of overwhelming at first, but after learning everyone's abilities, it was easier to actually know what I had to do. I guess the only thing I didn't like about this game is having to create my own character and how massive the hub world was. Other than that, I love the game and I'm glad to have another LEGO game completion for my series goal. Serious Sam 4 was recommended to me by my good friend Red and thanks to Game Pass, I was able to complete both the console version and the PC version. Knowing nothing about the game, I watched some gameplay and saw how short the completion was and decided to give it a go. Even though the story was really boring to follow, I still enjoyed the gameplay and how easy it was to just run around shooting those weird monsters with all sorts of gun and the infinite ammo cheat. The achievements were all super easy to do and it was fun enough to do it twice for the stack. Once again, thanks to Game Pass for the free gamer score. I knew people were really excited about this game when it was announced and I've heard great things about it so I finally jumped on the occasion and I'm glad I did because the story was mind blowing. Thankfully the guide that I was using didn't have any spoilers so I was able to follow the story and I'm not gonna lie, I was on the edge of my seat the whole 3 hours it took me. I don't want to talk about it too much in case anyone watching didn't play it yet, but it was a great completion. Once again, available on Game Pass. Pup Patrol Mighty Pup Save Adventure Bay was part of my Game Pass backlog and I don't think I need to mention how easy of a completion it was. The game was pretty straightforward and my first thought was how good this game is for kids and that outright games knows what they're doing. Other than that, the game took me 5 hours and the achievements were pretty much just about collecting everything in the mission and playing some mini games after the campaign. If you're looking for a quick 1000 gamer score where you can just turn off your brain and be a kid again, I highly recommend this one. Even after spending over 50 hours on a LEGO game this month, I wasn't done and I wanted to do more for the series goal. I ran a little poll on my Twitter to vote on my next LEGO game and I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of hoping for this one to win. Not only would it help my LEGO series progress, but also the Xbox 360 completion one as well. I really enjoyed the game even though it kind of got old and boring at the end after doing every missions for a second time to collect the mini kits. I thought it was very interesting to have a story for the good and bad guys and the planet boat levels were pretty cool to do as well. The completion took me about 20 hours which is the estimated time according to TA and I'm kind of excited to start my Batman 2 whenever I go back to the LEGO games. I had my eye on this one since I saw the trailer on YouTube and I was super happy to hear that it was going to be day one on Game Pass. The gameplay kind of reminded me of a game I played last year called Island Saver which is also similar to a popular game called Slime Rancher. It was the perfect game to come from work to and just relax and enjoy without needing to follow a guide. The collectibles in the game were really easy to find since I was scanning pretty much everything I could get my hand on and overall was a great experience. If you enjoyed those kind of chill indie game that also looks really good, I highly recommend you check it out. The Pedestrian was another game I saw most of my friends complete and I decided to check it out. Usually I would say I'm a fan of puzzle games but for some reason this one got boring real quick and I had to force myself to finish it. I still liked how original the idea of the puzzle was and the background was really nice to look at. That's of course another game available on Game Pass so if you're looking for a free easy completion I will still recommend you to check it out since it only takes about 4 hours to complete and guides are easily available online. This game was on my list to complete for a little while now. I was excited to give it a go since I'm a fan of Borderlands and I always like to play Telltale games since they're so easy to complete and just fun overall. I really enjoyed the story and since I don't want to spoil anything in case someone didn't play it yet, I'm just gonna tell you to go play it if you like Borderlands. 
No missable, no collectibles, just play the game and the 1k gamer score is yours. Since this is part of my Borderlands series, this is now my second completion of the series so we are now 2 out of 6 completed. Caretaker is the last completion I did this month and took me 15 minutes using Achievement Lens Guide. So a special shout out to Bill for the help on this one because those horror walking simulator games aren't my cup of tea at all. So make sure you check out his channel, the dude is actually a beast. Alright, so there are 4 other games that I played this month but I haven't completed yet. The first one is called Shadow Warriors 2, which I got for free for pre-ordering the third game in the series. After playing the whole weekend, I managed to get half the gamer score and I'm planning on finishing most of the list by the time the newest game comes out. I'll talk about it a little bit more next month update videos, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. DC Universe Online is a random game I came across because of a True Achievements article that was sharing how you can get free achievements by simply logging in and claiming free gifts to level the characters to level 30. According to other players, it's possible to get the completion by simply waiting for those promotions, so don't expect this one to be done in the next month or even this year. At the beginning of the year, I started to look into which Resident Evil game I could complete for my goal, even though I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go with Resident Evil Village since it was my 2021 game of the year, I still wanted to play other games in the series without necessarily going for the full 1000 gamer score. I need to go back to it later this year, but I really enjoy what I've been playing so far. Now I expect Clive Barker's Jericho to be my first completion of February. With an estimated time of 12 to 15 hours, it seems to be pretty straightforward and nothing out of the ordinary. I always enjoy playing those action horror games from time to time, so I'm looking forward to this one. I'll talk more about it next month, so stay tuned for that. So overall this month, I got just over 11k gamer score and I'm now closing in on the 450k mark. With 10 completions done, I am now at 281 total including 1 Xbox 360 and 3 series completions which includes 2 LEGO and 1 Borderland. I made no real progress towards the Resident Evil since I'm just playing Resident Evil 5 for fun and no progress towards Dark Souls either. Now I'm still unsure if I'm going to count Elden Ring as Dark Soul completion but I'll let you guys know what I decide in the near future. Alright, that is all for me today. Thanks for watching and don't forget to leave a like on your way out and to subscribe if you're not already. Now don't forget to let me know in the comments what was your favorite completion of the month. I'll catch you guys later and in the meantime, keep on gaming.